My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Irenaeus, a doctor of the church. Pope Francis just named him as a doctor of the church this year, but one of the, the oldest uh, great theologians in the church's history. Uh, he lived in the, the second, second century and likely died right around 202. But St. Irenaeus was famous for his great grasp of theology, even in its early stages, and his ability to, to make distinctions to help quell down the various heresies that popped up in the early church. And so, even in that day, you know, error ran rampant everywhere, and St. Irenaeus was, was pivotal in helping to, to put down error in this way. Well, we can look at it in the present day and say, wow, error is still with us in so many ways, not, not just in terms of theology, but just outlook in the world. So many, so many things that just seem crazy that have run amok. And in this light, the, the first reading uh, from the book of Amos is, is kind of a very severe, uh, should be a reading that makes us squirm a bit uh, of God speaking prophetically to Israel uh, about the, the fact that he, they've strayed from him at every turn and calamity has come about and he's tried to get them to turn back to him. But even in the midst of the greatest turmoil, they still won't turn back. And, you know, in layman's words, you can almost read it as a, so now look what's coming your way uh, in, in terms of the, the wrath of God for, for coming for the, the continued opportunity to, to repent and yet Israel not turning back to him. So we, we take this and we can experience this in our world. We see, okay, a world that has turned its back on God. We, we live in that in its very day of so much of the prevailing sentiment in society is directly opposed to God uh, in his ways. But when we look at the gospel passage, we see perhaps what's at heart behind this problem which is the disciples in the boat with Jesus, the storm comes up, and of course they cry out. They think they're going to drown, and so they cry out, Jesus, or are you, you know, are you going to let us die? Save us. But then they're shocked when he simply quiets the storm. Who is this whom even sea and sky obey? This speaks to the heart of our problem, which is often our instinct when, when truly we're up against it, when we fear we're going to die, when everything goes so far out of control that we're broken, we'll cry out to God. We'll cry out, deliver me. Even if it's a mess of our own making, we'll, we're, we're ready to cry out, God, save me. This is often the time where we're turned suddenly and become very devout in prayer and our need. But what about all the other times? And that speaks to the, the slow incremental decay and our sensibility towards God. And we see this in the world, all the issues, you know, of right, you know, right now it's one of economy in our country, people concerned with climate change, the, the great moral issues that divide us, war, all these things. And so everyone will cry out about the problems and look to sol the solution, but no one ever points to what is the cause behind, which is look how we've strayed from the ways of God. God constantly says, I hold all of these things in the power of my hand, and I've promised to care for you if you follow me. But mankind wants to find its own ways. And so often, even we who may think of ourselves devoutly as Christian still do the same thing. Like the disciples in the boat were suddenly surprised when Jesus has the power to still the frightening you know, spectacle facing them. It's called, why are we surprised? All things are in God's hand. Does he not constantly say, I love you and I will care for you, just follow me, put your trust in me? But so often we turn away from that, no matter how often he reminds us, and we try to make our own way. We try to play God for ourselves, to have control of things for ourselves, and we seek human solutions to problems that God has complete mastery over. And so, this is a problem for every age, whether it's the 21st century or the 2nd century. So on this memorial of St. Irenaeus, who put down so many ways of error, refuting heresies, we pray that he may pray for us to turn away from error and to seek renewed salvation from our God. St. Irenaeus, Doctor of the Church, pray for us.